Time to go for a release. Hey, little buddy. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Big Chief Outdoors. Today's video is the challenge video, and uh, I decided to pick uh, from my comments the one that said make homemade rod and reel. So I'm going to try and make one out of a chicken nugget box, brought to you by Mickey Donald's right there. And we're just going to see, hopefully we can catch a fish so I can win this challenge. Alright, so first thing you're going to want to do here is cut your hole for your uh, reel or your spool, which happens to be some sewing thread. So all you're going to do is line it up here somewhat in the middle. You're just going to trace it out. You're going to take your box cutter here. You're just going to cut that hole out. Next thing you're going to do after you cut your hole for your spool is you're going to cut the holes for the straw to fit in so it just sits in there real nice. My big cat is trying to join me for this quest. Alright, so now that you got that in, you cut the holes for the handle here. Now you're just going to snip these off just to make sure it's not too far out. Since I'm uh, left-handed, I have my reels on the right side. But So if you're right-handed, just do exactly the opposite. Push this farther out that way and your handle will be on this side. All right, so once you get, you snip the ends off, trim up a little bit, and then you just put your handle on, which is all you do is you take, I had enough actually when I snipped this off to make my handle with, you just poke it through the toothpick. This is actually a kebab stick. It's a little bit thicker, tougher than a, a toothpick. So it works a little bit better, it stands up a little bit better. But all you're gonna do is just put a little dab of, uh, super glue just to hold it in place so it's not you know sliding in and out when you're catching a fish. So on this side all you're going to do is just put one of the kebab sticks through just to hold that in place so it doesn't slide out of the uh, reel when you're fishing. Alright so the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut a hole right here. That's your handle for when you're holding on and then you're going to cut a hole run it through here, cut a hole out here, and this actually will become part of your rod. I'm going to put one more straw out here, and you just like taper the end and stick it in there, add some super glue, and then you have your rod. I'm going to cut this one maybe in fourth or in half, make the handle just a hair longer for my big hands, and then you have pretty much all of it. It's coming together, and it's looking really nice. Alright, so now I made the handle a little bit longer for my hands. So now all you're going to want to do, the last step here, uh, is to cut a hole right here. So that way your line will come out. And then I'm going to cut a little slit, a little bit up into the rod. And then you just run your string through that hole I'm going to cut with the straw in it. And then you put it up in here and it runs straight out the top. Alright, so we ran it through the slit right out the top here. And there you go, and there you have it. The homemade McDonald's fishing reel rod combo. Hopefully we're going to go catch us some crappie with this, and we'll go try it out. Quick update for you, I've lost about 10 so far, and uh, the one I had that I actually got to see when he hit, the handle broke off. Uh, kind of frustrating because there's no backbone whatsoever in a straw it just bends so you can't really set the hooks you have to rely on the fish to bite take the whole hook so it's a lot of patience uh hopefully here before too long we'll get one they're actually they're hitting it but i just can't seem to get set the hook to pull them in so uh stay tuned And now I have a mess. Hardest work crappie ever. Feels like a giant after finishing that challenge. See you, buddy. 
my favorite crappie right here finally ended the curse of not catching anything. Now the challenge is complete. right there. That little fucker. Go ahead and put him back in the water. He's every bit of three pounds. <laughs> the same one I had on a stringer over there. Probably, <laughs> yeah. I pulled him out. <laughs> yeah. 